Hello and welcome back to the Tin Barn. I'm Pragmatic Lee and the main purpose of this video is just simply to wish each and every one of you a Merry Christmas and my highest hopes that you have a wonderful, safe, and healthy New Year in 2022. Uh, I do have a little bit of uh, tidbit information coming up in a short video. Uh, I recorded this, uh, that video several years, probably at least a couple of years ago and it just never fit in with anything else and as busy as today has been I decided it was a good enough time to use it but again I want to wish each and every one of you a Merry Christmas uh, I know 2020 and 2021 have been some pretty trying times with COVID we've lost a couple of family members not only to COVID but also to uh, uh, other health issues but overall we've had good times good years and hopefully we'll uh, be blessed for another healthy year next year this next little tidbit is uh, uh, in response to several comments on some of my previous videos and emails uh, comments and emails concerning the carriage lock uh, modification I did to my lathe so let me uh, turn, her, turn the camera around to the uh, lathe now and show you how it came from the factory okay as I've indicated in numerous previous videos this lathe is the Pre Precision Matthews uh, PM 1127 large bore lathe uh, but I suspect many similar lathes grizzlies and so forth are probably designed pretty much the same as this the carriage lock on here is a set screw, uh, socket head cap screw, uh, that as you can see is not always in a convenient to get to. Uh, sometimes you got to move the cross slide out of the way. Uh, if the whole cross slide is moved up here on the carriage, uh, it's just not a convenient place to get to. But the way that works is tighten that down and that locks your carriage. Of course loosen it and the carriage is free and as I said that is not always convenient to get to you got your uh, uh, compound set at a desired angle you got your cross slide set where you want it and it just happens to be on one of these gib adjustment screws so you got it back out of the way so what I did uh, was make a modification to the lathe first thing I want to do right here is take the thread dial off I'll set that to the side for right now and this is the mounting bracket for the thread dial we're going to take that off for right now these are five millimeter by 0 0.8 uh, pitch socket head cap screws holding this on as well I tell you what before I take that off I want to take one quick measurement. Let me hang this back up here right quick. This modification, you will lose a little bit of your carriage travel. So let me back this all the way to the back now to where it's bumping the tailstock. And I'll just make a crude measurement from the housing back here uh, to the edge of the uh, cross slide. I got 24 inches. make a note of that right quick 24 inches now to show you what is up under here it's nothing more than a clamp or a little block that gets clamped I think maybe you can see it there it's just a little L-shaped bracket that this screw uh, pulls up, tightens up against the bottom of the ways. What I did was come up with this piece right here. I'll uh, show you a uh, drawing at the end of this video uh, for the dimensions on this. It'll probably vary a little bit. But on this end, we have a, let's see, that's an 8 millimeter by 1.25 pitch. Uh, 
for this same screw to tighten into, and on this end, just an eight millimeter pass through. Uh, let me get that up. And you want this just kind of parallel to your ways. It shouldn't be touching away. And tighten that down good and tight. Now we just take what I did was take another eight millimeter uh, socket head cap screw. This is a piece of one inch brass. I bored into this, leaving about a probably a thousandth or a thousandth of a half press in there or press fit to just squeeze this socket head cap screw, press it down into this piece of brass. Uh, the uh, splines on that uh, socket head will keep that from twisting and then simply put a T-handle in. Now I take the same piece and put it in this pass through. Now the things you want to watch for, this piece right here, the top of it doesn't need to be any higher or has no reason to be any higher than your carriage housing and this doesn't need to be high enough so it would interfere with turning your compound. But once you've got that, then you've got a Easy, quick, no tools required, lockdown of your compound. I'm sorry, of your cross slide. One other little thing, what I was doing when I first did this was anytime I needed to do any threading, I would just take this off because you're obviously not going to lock down your, your uh, compound cross slide uh, when you're threading. But then I went back and said, well, let's see if we can't do butters. So I took this uh, piece of, this is just some stock that I had. It's one inch. This happens to be uh, three quarter thick and it's two and a half inches long. And again, I took some little five millimeter threaded rod screwed into the existing holes, slid, drilled two holes through this for the five millimeter to pass through all the way the full length. Then took the same piece that we took off, slide it over, and put a couple of nuts on the end of that. I think I might have screwed in a little bit too far there. Let me back them back out just a little. Then we simply take our thread doll, mount it in the same hole it was used to, it was originally mounted in. All we've done was offset this bracket a little bit. And now, we have the threading dial uh, mounted. We have our modified carriage lock easy access to. Obviously we lost some travel here. Remember we had 24 inches to begin with. And now we're at 21 and a half, so we've lost two and a half inches. In reality, I could have probably shorten this up an eighth of an inch here maybe uh, maybe three eighths down here so I might could have got a half inch tighter tolerance in there if I had really needed it but if I'm going to go the full length again I've got no reason to uh, lock the carriage down when I'm running the full length so I can take this one screw out take these two out uh, in about three, three and a half years I've had this lathe, I don't think I've ever uh, turned anything that required the full length of the, of the uh, bed of the lathe. Okay, here is a rough drawing of the bracket we made to offset the uh, carriage clamp, carriage lock clamp. 
This is a piece half inch thick. It is four inches long by two inches high. This step is two inches right here, the other two inches down here. Uh, this on mine 1.2, the solid block 0.8, two inches over here. Uh, on this is a half inch high, so this leaves this inch and a half over here. Uh, this again is uh, drilled and tapped for an eight millimeter by 1.25 pitch thread. That's what the original lockdown uh, socket head cap screw on my lathe is. This is drilled for an eight millimeter pass through. Again, what mine is. And that's really all there is to it. But there you have it. That's just a quick little easy lockdown for your uh, lathe carriage. Hope you enjoyed that little segment. Uh, again, it was something that I recorded some time back. Just never fit in with other videos, but thought it might be a good filler for today's. Take care, and I'll see you in 2022.